warrants and the investigation. So this search warrant just started this morning. It's going to take a number of days to finish, so I can't comment on that. I haven't received a briefing on what they've found so far. Well, right here, why did it take 12 days for you to search the home? Why did it take so long before the home was searched? That's a very good question. Why did it take so long to search the home? There are a no, number of other things that we have done up to up to this point um, that have led to us being able to search the residents at this point. Right, Mike. Um, in your remarks, you just said that you were asking Frazee to talk with investigators. His lawyer has been saying that he's been cooperative. Has something changed? Why did you specifically publicly ask him to talk to investigators? We have yet to have him sit down with one of our investigators. And that's what we're asking for, is just for him to sit down with an investigator, since he was the last person to talk with Kelsey face to face, from what we can tell. Is he saying no when you're asking him to do this? Not at this time. Thank you. Have you asked him? outside of this press conference to sit down with you? Is he refusing that conversation? He is communicating with us through his attorney. And that's about all I can say on that. Did he deny your searching the residence to begin with? That's just part of the investigation. Of this can you also just talk personally about what toll this has taken on your department? Talk about what this case has been like investigating um, on a personal level? This has been a very rough case for us to investigate. We're working tirelessly, many long shifts. All of our agencies that are working with us have been wonderful, and I just can't see enough good things about them. So thank you for that question. Can go back to the uh, Can you uh, say whose uh, red truck that was? It was on a flat bed that you took out of the residence? That was part of the search warrant from that property. I can't comment on who that truck belongs to. Foxman, right here. What was the custody arrangement like? before Kelsey one disappeared. So that's going to be still part of this investigation, so I can't really comment on that part. What's of it. going on with their one-year-old? Let's, let's go uh, two more questions. Okay, we'll go right here. Uh, can you say what the text message uh, sent uh, from Kelsey's phone to Patrick said? I can't get into that detail at this time. Did he travel after he, um, between the time that he picked up the child and when she was reported missing, did he travel anywhere? That would be a great question we'd like to talk to him about. And then we'll do, this is our last question, and again, I can appreciate your patience with us. It's, a, it's been a very active day. Go ahead, right here, last question. Hi, uh, you got on the daily mail. Um, has um, the people expressed concern about the, the baby daughter, the one-year-old? Is it wise to leave her with him and you don't know what the score is? And have you been able, has the baby been able to see Cheryl, the mother? Good question. Um, no, the grandmother has not seen uh, her baby, uh, her granddaughter at this time. Uh, yes, we did see the daughter last, Kelsey's daughter last week. Um, yes, we are looking into that. Is it wise to leave the leave with Patrick left? I have no information at this time that I need to take that daughter, that, that child away at this point. Can you talk about the reward, the reward, the reward we're please? Suspicious. We're going to get more information about the reward as soon as that's vetted out a little bit more. We'll get you that. Okay? Is there a number yet on how much the reward is? No. It's weird to use this press conference to do that.